be a part of history and subscribe to my two YouTube channels and join the 100,000 pharaohs that exist. And of course, follow me on Twitch as I create a radio station from the ground up. They ain't never seen a young black reporter coming like this. All right, Mr. Telefero TV, listen, I know it's rap. I know it's hip hop. I know it's supposed to be gangster down south music. Um, but we're seeing an artist in Moneybag, yo, he's, he has feelings, man. He has feelings, and he expressed them. He dropped his Two Heartless project. Please check that project out. Always supporting, especially people that I've done interviews with, and especially people that's from the city that I'm from. Salute Moneybag, yo. I rock with his music. I think he's top 10 on my list of rappers in the, in the game right now. Um, listening to Two Heartless, the thing that stuck out to me initially right and i'm not looking for drama but the you can't avoid it right money bag yo has a son called fed babies obviously he named the record fed babies because he's playing out the whole tape that him and nba young boy did right they did an entire tape called fed babies and i think i was the first outlet or maybe one of the first outlets to tell you what i've been hearing it's not great between nba young boy and money bag yo so as soon as soon as the tape dropped pretty much NBA Young Boy didn't pr promote the tape. He said he wanted to go have anything to do with the tape. And he did. He didn't do anything with that tape. Moneybag Yo kind of promoted the tape. But after giving it so much energy, it felt like it felt like he just gave up on the tape, right? Because you, you got to think about it. If, if you're Moneybag Yo and his team, they're like, we can't perform these records. We can't perform these records with a lot of them with Young Boy on the hook. And the chemistry that NBA Young Boy and Moneybag Yo got... They're kind of going back and forth on the hooks, right? And I remember Money Bag Yo, one of the first things he told me is that he's not going to do a lot of collab tapes. Or not, not a lot of collabs, that's just not his thing. And this is probably the reason why. He feel like he got scorned, he feel like he got scarred dealing with another artist. When you do a collab tape like that, and I'm not sure how many times these two got in the studio. But you got to be in the studio. You got to vibe with a brother. I know there are a lot of dope producers right now out there that can kind of put things together. But when you do a collab tape... You got to vibe with somebody. And I've always seen Money Bag Yo. He always speaks highly of NBA Youngboy. He says he's a fan of his music. He bumped NBA Youngboy. Got a lot of love for, for NBA Youngboy. To the point that he did a tape with him. Now, his first ever collab tape outside of Yo Gotti. But that was like, that was a big deal. That was a big deal for him, right? This was his big tape. That They were going to have a couple records that went. The joint with Quavo was going to go. I had a couple other records that I really enjoyed from the project that I thought I had a chance to make it. And NBA Young Boys are growing brain. He's much younger than Moneybag as well. This, this, these, they had records that go. These are very talented artists, right? These are two of the most talented artists that we have down south right now, and they're running shit right now. So Moneybag Yo gave NBA Young Boy an entire record on his new Two Heartless project called Fed Babies. Literally titled it the same title as the project. And he just went in depth. And he had kind of spoke on it on interviews. I did a story the other day, I believe, where he said, you know, pretty much what happened with NBA Young Boys. I feel like two people got in our ear and um, told us some other shit. Specifically, he's talking about somebody got an NBA Young Boys ear, right? And I'm pretty sure Bag seen videos like mine that did like 800,000 views. And um, he's seen a couple of the blog sites post on it. I'm telling y'all what I've heard. NBA Young Boy in his camp thought Moneybag was trying to get another album on his uh requirements for his label deal and nba young boy wanted it to count on his requirement because he is signed to atlantic right now and nba young boy got frustrated with that process and he looked at it as if money bag was trying to use it on this record the the chorus starts off like this surrounded by this fake love what's that it's bad blood how you with me when you fuck with bro what's that that's bad blood how you cross me when we come out the mud what's that that's bad blood snake shit for a step that's bad blood in the camp and then he kind of talks about a chick and then he gets back into nba young boy completely in the first verse he said i ain't just rapping i don't do no capping i won't sugarcoat what happened came to you like the man i am i never told your Gotti what happened text and call you and you ain't respond seen too much i don't play with guns tried to nip it in the bud black bad blood is what it was i'm popping meds like crazy about you I'm letting certain shit phase me. About you. I'm reading shit on the blogs. What? Like what happened with you and your dog? Can't believe it came to this here. Really thought this shit was sincere. Like a big hater getting in your ear. It could have been our year. So according with you at Icebox, I approached him trying to smack him. You jumped in the way of my action. I couldn't take your reaction. I treated you like a little brother. I'm big brother. Look at us now. This shit crazy. 
could have been on tour getting hella guap. I really thought we was fed, baby. Shit, crazy. Second verse, money bag, continue. You told me secrets I won't speak on and never will. Cop that Michael Myers chain because you gave me that idea. Shit was so real on my end, though. I treated you like kin folks. Got your monkey, I'm GP still, Lil Jojo and 3 3. And I'm gonna leave it at that. Maybe one day we could laugh and talk about this shit. But until then, I'm gonna drop the situation. Watch what you say around these hoes, cause they cross shit up. What happened? Have a have a nigga at your necks trying to box you up. All this hate coming from every angle. Where the love? Look, I'll leave it at that. Listen, man, money bag, yo, it, it, he's scorned by this, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. It, it, if you didn't know anybody, you thought he was talking about a chick, right? But he's not. He's talking about NBA young boy clearly. And I think what it is with, with Moneybag is he's a very loyal human being. I, I was on, I've been around him maybe a couple of times and just reading him. He just seems like a very loyal, genuine dude. I'm gonna be honest, he seems like a good dude, man. Good dude. And um, I think NBA, I don't, I don't know what it is, but I just find it hard to believe. And they'll say I'm CMG riding like always. Whatever it was on NBA Youngboy's side, it, it had to be a misunderstanding. And I think Moneybag's even trying to fix the the situation he's he's kind of like yo if it, if it was something on my end yo let's talk about it let's get on the phone and talk about it one day what i feel as if though there's somebody in your ear telling you something that's untrue about me and i don't think money bag yo wanted to take go any further than that you know what i mean i don't know if you consider that a beef but i i believe that these two probably just need to stay the hell away from each other until they're able to hop on the phone and sincerely works him out. Moneybag spoke candidly in that verse. He said, look, I tried calling you, texting you. You wouldn't respond to the shit. They had a tape, man. This is a real tape that was going to do numbers. And a matter of fact, it's still so decently, right? They had a, a whole project that was going to be uh, that was going to be a tour with that. It was, it, was, it, was, it was going to be a whole rollout. I'm telling you that. It was going to be, you hear Moneybag talking about it. It was going to be a special moment for them, both as young down south artists. NBA a young boy a few years younger than money back it was gonna be great for both of their careers but for that to happen in that form and fashion where on, literally on the tape the day the tape came out NBA a young boy just deaded it wouldn't even say anything about it said his album on the way fuck that tape i don't know man it, I, whatever whoever's in in nba young boys capping in his ear they told they had to tell that man some very vivid shit about money back yo that was very convincing i look at nba a young boy as somebody who's gonna mature and we've seen this happen with artists, right? And, and by 30, 35, if they're able to be on the other side to tell their story and, and successful, they're entirely different people. I think we're seeing a guy like NBA Youngboy who's just very young, making a lot of money. A lot of people love him online, socially. A lot of people rock with his music. And I think right now, trusting is going to be hard for him. Doing the right business move is going to be hard for him until he gets older, much mature wiser understands who's really for you who really against you but this one's scoring money back i mean the brother wrote a whole record about about him here young boy y'all talk to me what y'all think money back too emotional on this record or do you think it was well warranted i mean he wanted to explain to the fans what the hell happened because there are fans out there who are like yo what happened to this tape nba young boy money like that's like lebron and kobe both being 23 and facing in the nba finals right you'd be like damn they were so young, we didn't even cherish it. One day we'll look back if Moneybag and NBA Youngboy, as I believe, they'll both be greats, right? Because they're just talented on these hooks and creative, and they got a lot of females that rock with them. I think one day we'll look back and be like, yo, we had two two really great downstep artists on the tape together. What the hell happened, right? Um, Mr. Telefell TV, Moneybag and his feelings, or you think this is well warranted? For the record, y'all talk to me in the comment box below. Who music you like better? Money back your NBA young boy. Subscribe to my channel for more exclusive conversations like this. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty.